Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flytech. Today I will show you how you can build this pressurization panel for your Boeing 737 overhead panel. I started by assembling the dual needle gauge. One of the motors sits raised on this plate to let the two gears rotate on different levels. To connect the layers I used 30mm male and female hex standoffs. The engraved part of the lower top layer is glued in place and hold temporarily by some tape and hot glue. I used 4mm acrylic rods for the inside and 7mm acrylic tubes for the outside shafts of the gauges. The panel is now connected to the Arduino and I have started all the needed programs. ProSim system, ProSim display to visualize the expected values and MobiFlight and I have running prepared in the background. In MobiFlight I have added the four needed devices, three servos and one push button. You can see this here under extra settings in the MobiFlight modules menu 
there you can see my Arduino E that is connected now here. And down here you find under E49 my push button and from E50 to E52 there are my three servos. If you want to know what is behind these namings here, then you can watch my cable management video where I go into all these things in detail. But I think for now you have seen many of my panel videos. We will skip this. The devices are declared here in the output. There you will find the three servo motors and under inputs here is the one button. I also have set my offset values which I'm using in MobiFlight and ProSim already. And now I will show you again how you can configure the servo motors so that the needles will be there where you expect them. First of all, we have to find the place where we can uh, adjust these things. And we go to config configuration and combined config. And if you don't know exactly where to search for a specific value you want to enter here, then you can just use this search bar, which I will do now for the alt horn cutout. So I will search for horn and then it will filter the list and you can see here in the pneumatics uh, section there is only one hit here under switches and here you can see i have already configured the alt horn cutout pushed so when the button is pushed uh, then a signal is sent here and the offset i have used here also the three servo motors can be found here in the pneumatic section under gauge and the first gauge we will see here, the cabin VSI. I have already entered the uh, offset here. And now we have to configure all these sliders here so that the needle will be stopped in the right position. And to ensure that these values are received by MobiFlight, we have to click here on run. So oh, there was a first uh, signal from the gauge. And now let's define our zero position here. So you can just grab the slider and slide it and you can see the needle is already moving. And now you can do this with the mouse or the arrow keys. And I will try to set it to the zero position. So you can also control these values here. You can see 62, we have 255 uh, points in total. So somewhere in the middle, somewhere there should be our zero position. I think this will work here. And now we go to the minus 500. There we are, minus 1000. There it is, minus 2000, somewhere here. And like this, I go on with all the other values. So here you can see now all the values are set here. And I go on to the next gauge, which is the cabin altitude gauge here. And again, I have to set all these needles here. And I will start with a zero needle. There it is. And I make my way through all these values. There we are. And the last gauge we'll find down here. And this is the pressure differential gauge. And we again set all the needles and I will begin with a zero point here. And these values are set too. So we click OK. And now our needles should be exactly like they are here in the display tab. Now we can start the testing if everything is working. And the easiest thing is this push button here. And for this, we can switch here and pros them to the pneumatic tab. And here at the second position, we already find the Althorn cutout value can see it is on off and when I push the button 
you can see it changes to pushed. So this button is already working. And to test the other gauges, I'm using a very strange method now here, just to make it fast. I'm using the Prosim instructor station here to set me on a special um, position and then watching the needles change during my plane descents completely uncontrolled. So I will set me on an eight miles final and override the altitude to 25,000 feet. Just really, this is not realistic just to make it fast. And when I then start the simulator again, compare the needles on the display tab here to the needles that you can see here on my overhead. So let's start this now. So the plane is going down. You can see the cabin altitude needle is moving. And when we watch the small needle here of the big gauge, then you can see the needle is also moving. The big needle is where we supposed it to be. So I think this is the proof that everything is working here. And before we crash into the ground, we will stop this. So I think this was a very unusual way of testing this, but it showed that um, all the needles here are working correctly. And there it is, finished and working. And not too difficult to make. If you have watched my previous videos concerning the single and dual needle gauge here, and this is all what this panel is made of here. Okay, there is one uh, additional push button here, but that's all you have to do. Just think a little bit about uh, the arrangement of the different layers, especially here um, for this uh, dual needle gauge, and then you're ready to go. I know there is one last thing missing here on this panel, and this is a sticker here on top of the panel. You have uh, written down in my comment section on my power source panel here that this here is also just um, a sticker here. I have made this from 3mm acrylic because it covers um, the end of the switch here really good and I wanted to backlight it and so working with acrylic was the best solution for me. At this place here this sticker isn't backlighted and so I think I will use a very thin white material that I spray paint black and then engrave the text on top of it and glue it on here. But it would be too expensive for just ordering this single sheet of material from a store and so I will wait when I know if I will need any additional materials and then make an order. But you know what I will do here and you know how to do it. So I think you won't miss very much when I don't show this in this video here. And if you want to build your own panel, then you can find all the needed files for cutout and engrave all the parts for this panel section here in the download section of my website. I have to move on to the next section of the overhead panel. And if you don't want to miss this episode, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see you soon back on the flight deck.